Correct, 848 minus 740 times 3 minus 224 divided by 4 times 9 plus 40 equals 265. Correct. People call me the human calculator because I solve problems faster than a calculator. Hello. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, I want to take you back a few years to when I was eight. I'm finishing up seventh grade right now, but I want to talk about an experience I had when I was in third grade. I want to tell you what happens when girls count. Why are you here? Girls aren't good at math. You're not even going to come close to winning, I heard a boy say. I was in third grade at my first math competition, ready to conquer the world. It was there that I first encountered the global issue of gender bias. I persevered, driven by my passion for mathematics and my fundamental belief in human rights. Right then, I decided that I wouldn't let anyone ever tell me what I couldn't accomplish. As a philanthropic entrepreneur, I applied the same can-do mindset to my academics, my artwork, and my advocacy. I advocate for those who can't and hope to inspire others to do the same. So, um, as I know from personal experience, uh, gender bias is already prominent in middle school before students approach advanced mathematics. As you can see, I'm the only girl standing who received an award at one of the math competitions this year. Next to that is a picture of me dressed as myself, a math nerd for Halloween. Um, I want to encourage all girls to pursue their interests no matter what other people say. Unfortunately, many other girls aren't ready to take that stand. For example, the number of girls in math competitions drops every year because of the pernicious stereotype that mathematics is a man's field. In 2015, women received only 18% of all computer science degrees in the nation, and that percentage drops even lower for women of color according to the National Center for Education Statistics. The words of Nobel Prize winner Christiane nislain volhard echo in my head. She says, in mathematics and science, there's no difference in the intelligence of men and women. The only difference in the genes of men and women is simply the Y chromosome, which has nothing to do with intelligence. Everyone should have the basic human right to pursue their interests unfettered, because motivation, problem solving, and strategy know no gender. As I know from personal experience, the problem of gender bias is already prominent in middle school before students approach advanced mathematics. For this stereotype to end, adults must encourage little girls to become whatever they want. They must remind all children that there are no rules for gender and no limits to people's aspirations. Mathematics is women's work just as much as it is men's. Overcoming gender bias in science, technology, engineering, and math is also men's and women's work, so that children will stop questioning who counts and focus on solving society's more pressing matters. Art for charity. 511, 512, 513. We have raised over $500. That's enough for 10 goats, my teacher called out, her eyes sparkling with joy. I cheered and clapped alongside my peers, delighted that our small 4th grade classroom was able to make a difference for impoverished people around the world. We did this simply by making and selling artwork, bracelets, and origami at our school's fair. That the ghosts would provide entire villages with milk, butter, and cheese day after day simply thrilled me. I couldn't stop thinking about the class project, even after it ended. My school's fundraiser made me truly realize how fortunate I was, especially compared to people who do not have enough to eat. For many African children, hunger is a constant chronic pain. Death is prominent in many areas, and a devastating 20% of Africa's children do not reach the age of six. I decided to continue to work with the Save the Children organization so that I could do more to help families in Africa who lack basic necessities such as food, clean water, medicine, shelter, and safety. I connected with Save the Children and created a fundraiser dedicated to the Child Hunger and Famine Relief Fund. This fund aids children in Somalia, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and Kenya by giving them sufficient food, water, and shelter. I am proud to be making a positive contribution and want nothing more than to make art for charity's sake.
to launch my fundraiser, I created my own online art gallery, aporvaartgallery.com. It's a platform for me to connect with people who want to buy my art and make donations in support of my cause. Since I started my charity six months ago, I have raised over $2,500. Thank you. Uh, and now that Genius Junior is airing, I've been receiving even more orders for my artwork. I plan, to, I plan to spend the summer painting up a storm so that I can raise even more money for children in Africa. Do the math. Oh, this is a personal letter I received from the Chaves of Children organization thanking me for my efforts. Do the math. When I'm selling my art to buy basic necessities for children in Africa, when I'm raising money for visually impaired children in India, when I'm volunteering as a teaching assistant in a bilingual class in a low-income area of San Jose, when I'm tutoring young girls in math, I am responding to that third grade boy's question about why I am here. I am here because what I do counts. Just last week, an 11-year-old girl saw my website, and now, She's creating her own website to help raise money for animal shelters. My efforts as a philanthropic entrepreneur, combined with your efforts and the efforts of others, no matter how old or young they are, is what it will take to solve local and global matters. So, in the spirit of compound effort, I challenge the entrepreneur in each of you to invest in others and help create a better world. Thank you. Sorry, give us a moment. Thanks, volunteers, for your patience um, while we're doing that. So we need a volunteer to write on the board, a volunteer to check the answer on um, a phone calculator of some sort, and then one of you to feed some numbers. So which one, who wants to do, do one of you want to write on the board? Okay, perfect. Um, Uh, yeah, just give a, sorry, one moment. Do, uh, uh, waiting on, yeah, we're, just we're waiting on her slide, slide to go up. Sorry, bear with me, please. Okay, great. So up on that slide, which one, can you raise your hand if you're the one feeding the numbers? Okay, great. What's your name? Okay. Thank you so much for volunteering. Um, so if you look up at the slides, these are the guidelines for the types of questions that um, we want people to ask. So did you want to start with, um, you want to start with addition, with multiplication, right? Yeah, we can start with multiplication. Okay. So we'll start with a multiplication problem. Okay. And essentially, you can give a PORVA um, a three-digit number times a two-digit number of any sort. Um, and do you want to just walk on to yeah. answer to them? So um, how it's going to work is you'll call out the three-digit number and the two-digit number, um, and then that'll be written on the board and Aporva, so the audience can check. Aporva will give you the answer, um, and then you can check on your calculator if it's correct. Uh, 576. 52. 2-9-9-5-0. Oh yeah, it's two, sorry. She was two off, I would have been like a million off, so amazing, <laughs> applause for that please. Um, okay, and do you wanna do one more multiplication one? Um, so again, just any random three digit number and a two digit number. Um, 700, oh wait, okay. 789, uh, 27. Two, one, three, oh, three. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. 
Okay. Um, next, we'll do um, a division. Prob we'll do a division problem. So, so how you could how we can do the division because uh, it has to be an in, like it has the remainder should be zero. You can do a three digit times a two digit number on there, and then you write the answer on the board and divide it by the three digit number. Oh, so first here I can help with that. Can we like check on the calculator to find it like a remainder of zero? Yeah. yeah. Give, just put in a two digit number right now and have it memorize it. So um, yeah, okay. times a three digit number. Okay. okay. And enter. Um, so okay. you're gonna do that divided by the three digit eight. number. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that? divided by what? Eighty seven. Mm -hmm. You want it divided by the three digit number. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, divided by the three digit number. Oh. Yeah. Do you have it memorized? Okay. So wait, say the number out loud. So we have um, eighty three thousand nine hundred and fifty five divided by nine hundred and sixty five. Um, 87. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Right. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. Um, next we'll do the addition or we'll do adding of three digit numbers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So, um, you can do, you can pick essentially three digit numbers and you can add or subtract them and, um, and then we can do the same thing with the calculator and the answering. So like six or seven numbers? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Se seven is a um, you want It's six or seven. Sorry. Six or seven. Okay. okay. Um, 565 plus 782 plus 354 plus ne negative 212 or yeah, just minus 212, I guess. Um, plus 327. Yeah. Okay. One, wait. 1816. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, and our last one before we wrap up um, is super fun. So we'll give. You can give her a month, a day, and a year, kind of like is on that date, and she'll give you the day of the week that it is. Um, so you might want to check further ahead in the calendar and see what that is. I think I already know it, but okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. Should I say it? Okay. Yeah. Um, October 2nd, 2014. October 2nd, 2014. 2014. Go, go. Um, is that a Thursday? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Wait, he's checking. October 2nd? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. See? The calculator took longer than hers. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, well, Provo will be available afterwards um, for questions and answers, but let's give her a big round of applause because that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks.